Pocatello got their second green light to build a subdivision in the Mink Creek area. Good evening, everyone. The Bannon County Planning and Development Board gave the go-ahead last week, despite a lot of opposition from people living near the proposed subdivision. Local News 8's Dennis Valera joining us in the Pocatello Newsroom. Uh, Dennis, people there are worried about their water, right? That's right, Jane Carroll. A group of people called the Mink Creek Utility Association is worried about the easement for their water and well lines. They say if this subdivision is built, their water quality will worsen. This was my original house before the Charlotte fire. Ken Covert's been living in the area for decades. When he initially heard about the Deer Valley Reserve project, he immediately thought of his water. Water quality is the big issue, contamination and having sewage coming into our springs, uh, our well, and everything else is a huge issue. But also, we would not have our 10-acre easement to protect our water. There wasn't a seat to spare last week when Mink Creek homeowners came to show their distaste for the proposal. Having to make a new concept plan, the developers provided a 300-foot easement for the MCUA, also arguing the MCUA's current easement is one acre, not 10. After county commissioners said the original plan didn't provide a description of the easement, and the planning staff warned the board to not go forward since the easement issue wasn't resolved at the last public hearing, Covert is thinking this issue will end up in court. These developers are very unscrupulous people. They're there for the money. That's it. They do not care about water or water contamination. Developers Dave and Emma Jibo are currently making a preliminary plat for the subdivision. They wouldn't go on camera for me tonight, but they did say their goal is to do what is best. The MCUA will also be able to appeal the preliminary plat. Live in the Pocatello Newsroom, I'm Dennis Valera.